Hi guys, James here from Knife Depot Australia. Today we're just going to do a little quick overview and unboxing of a really cool little knife we've just got in from QSP. It's the new QSP Hawk. Now it comes in a few different colors and also uh, blade variations and we'll get straight into that and we'll just go through the unboxing and just some details about the actual knives. So this is the QSP Hawk. So this is what you get when you buy the QSP Hawk. This is the box it comes in. It comes in a nice little uh, gift box. It's got a magnetic open and close tab on the side. So that's pretty cool. Inside the box, when you open it up, you get your little QSP card. Just gives you the stats and everything on the knife, the size, all that sort of stuff. Uh, all the QSP knives come with a limited lifetime warranty, backed by QSP. Uh, it's basically guarantees the knives against workmanship and everything. Comes wrapped up in some plastic as such. This is the blue version that I've got here. So this is the blue, this is the green, and they've also got a Damascus version as well. So as you can see, all three knives are the same, just different colors. These, these two have the same steel, so the green and the blue have both got the Sandvik 14C28N steel. Now they do have a special edition version here, and this has got the Damascus steel. These are a little bit more expensive. Same size and everything else is the same on it except for the steel. They've got a Damascus on this one as well So it's really really nice if you're looking for a bit of an off an up market knife um, If you can see that on the camera Also the scales on this one are carbon fiber as well, and they've got a nice little finish to them. You can see that uh, It's just a little bit different um Size and everything with these knives. So the length of the blade on all three knives, they come in at 3.23 inches. Uh, that's 82 mil roughly. The handle length is about 4.1 inches. So 104 mil for the handle. So the overall length of the knife is 7.3 inches or 186 millimeters. Weight's nice and light, nice for a knife this size, it's 104 grams. The Damascus one is virtually the same weight as well. I think there's a couple of grams in the difference. It might be two grams lighter or something like that. I can't notice any difference. It's it's pretty similar. Now the QS, QSP knives, the flip action on these is fantastic. So that's how easy it comes out. So you just put a bit of pressure on the flipper at the back, knife comes out. Uh, I'll just put these two over here for a second and we'll just have a little talk about this one. Um, so it's got a liner lock, so the blade's locked in place with a basic liner lock on the knife. You've got, on all three knives, you've got this deep carry pocket clip, so if it's sitting into your pocket it's going to go the full way in. And it's got a really nice, if you're using the knife for cutting, it's got a really nice jimping on the back of the blade, so just behind the two little stub screws screws here. You've got a really nice, if you're cutting into stuff, you get a really nice little grip on that. My favorite of the three is probably the blue. I do I do like the blue handle. Now this is a Macarta finish. It's got a really, really good grip to it. So one thing I really, really like about these knives is the uh, blade action. When you get it in your hand and you move the blade. So if this, this knife comes in at under $100. The opening action on it's absolutely fantastic. Now they use they use a ceramic um, bearing system in this. So when you open and close it, you'll find that it's really really smooth. This is the sort of action you find in really expensive knives like three hundred plus dollar knives, which is really really cool on a sub one hundred dollar uh, knife. Uh, another thing that I really really like is the finish on the blade. So that it's not a really shiny finish. They've got a really really nice satin finish on that blade. It's a flat ground blade, so it starts at the very, very top, it goes all the way down. So it's gonna be nice and easy for, for sharpening as well. Um, that Sandvik steel as well, it's quite a hard steel, so it's gonna hold a really, really good edge as well. Overall, it's just a really, really good everyday carry type knife. Um, as mentioned, I do prefer the blue. That's the green color, it's definitely personal uh, preference. Everything is the same on, on both of them. Um, this would be one I would definitely get as a collector. Um, and there's not really much more to say about these. Uh, as I said, 
Those are the three knives from QSP. This, they're a relatively new brand. They've been around for a few years, but they're really starting to take the market. And for, for knives that come in, like for example, these two knives that are coming in under $100, you're getting a whole hell of a lot of knife. Uh, this one is a bit more expensive. Uh, this is probably double the price. You are paying a premium for the Damascus steel, but if you're a collector, um, collectors will know that's just the price you pay for Damascus knives. Uh, if you do have any questions or queries on these QSP knives, please leave some comments or questions below. Uh, also, we're going to have content coming out every week, so if you like and subscribe, if you're interested in our content, you'll see that below.